I think Cherokees uh, respect the old stories uh, as, as teaching devices, as entertainment. Prolific Cherokee author Robert J. Conley promoted Cherokee culture throughout his lifetime, writing more than 80 books over the course of his career. Robert was one of those writers who loved history, and he would take an, an incident out of Cherokee history, something that was true, and base a novel around it. During Robert's childhood, it was his grandparents who fostered an interest in his Cherokee heritage. He grew up listening to his grandfather tell stories and his uncles and, you know, people in his family, and then he continued that. That was part of what I think made him who he was. It was a storyteller, you know, really. In 1975, Robert received a call from the Cherokee Nation, inviting him to come work as a writer. But that's when we met, was when he came to work for the tribe. I didn't pay any attention at first, but then when he started writing poetry to me, then I started listening. Eventually, I came around. Robert and Evelyn married in 1978, and Robert continued developing his writing. His first novel, Back to Malachi, was published in 1986. He said it was written out of anger at the misrepresentation of Ned Christie in Western literature. Christie was a Cherokee patriot who had been wrongfully labeled as an outlaw and murdered by lawmen. In 1992, Mountain Wind Song, a novel of the Trail of Tears, was released. Hailed as an American classic, Mountain Wind Song was adapted into a musical in 1995. It premiered in Tahlequah, Oklahoma, and starred Cherokee opera star Barbara McAllister. Throughout the 1990s, Robert also wrote the Real People series. The 10-book-long venture illustrated events and figures from Cherokee history through a fictional lens. Then, in 1995, Robert was approached by Cherokee chief Wilma Mankiller to write a complete history of the Cherokee Nation. But I had, had never done a, a book-length uh, nonfiction uh, work, and so that, that worried me a little bit. Uh, but it also worried me that, that I was dealing with such a, such a vast and such, I think, such an important history. The Cherokee Nation, A History, was published in 2005. It was the first Cherokee history written by a Cherokee Nation citizen and officially backed by the tribe. In 2010, Robert became the first Native American president of the Western Writers of America. And in 2014, he received the organization's Owen Wister Award for Lifetime Achievement. So he promptly put it by his bed and slept with it and with his hand right here on, on the buffalo, <laughs> on the bronze. That was around the 1st of February, and then by the 16th, he was gone. Well, Robert uh, was diagnosed in December of 13. Um, with uh, lung cancer. Uh, stage four, he decided he wasn't going to have anything done. On February 16th, 2014, Robert passed away at age 73. He was kind and gentle. You know, he didn't ever put anybody down as far as, um, you know, the knowledge that he held. So he was one of those pioneers who helped uh, bring that knowledge and that knowing forward. You know, it's, it's not like we lost it. It's always been there. And it, uh, it remains there in, in all of the stories that, you know, that are known, that are told, that are retold, and, and so forth. And I think a lot of people were inspired by his writings.